All right, I just got my true form horse armature. Let's open it up and see what we got. All right, the first thing I got is a little diagram showing how you can adjust the neck and the uh, legs and the uh, also the uh, proportions of the horse too as well. I also got the uh, small uh, armature for a human that matches the scale of the horse. So if you want to put a rider on the horse, you get that all worked out. And uh, get the popcorn out from between the uh, horse armature and the board. board that comes for mounting the horse armature on. They supply you with all the hardware for uh, mounting the armature. That's what this is right here. It is the uh, hardware. So we'll get this popcorn out of the way so that I can... So this is the uh, equine armature. It comes uh, just like this. All uh, put together. This is really cool, the root cage. That's the hardest thing, is trying to come up with a shape for that. And that's really, really well done. Uh, you got a uh, bolt with a groove on the end of it. i uh, see if I can get that up there. That's where the armature goes down into it. And then you got this uh, nut that fits on top of that that locks the armature onto that. Now I'll show you how to assemble this. Oh, let me get the... Uh, uh, figure out of here. This is uh, something that uh, came with it that I ordered uh, separately. If, you know, if you order a uh, horse armor, you might consider ordering the uh, human figure to go with it. And since the horse is quarter uh, full size, quarter a life size, uh, the human figure conveniently is quarter human size, so it's automatically scaled for the uh, the horse. I get this out of here. And the uh, human figure is 18 inches. That's the 18 inch uh, figure that comes uh, from True Form, and it was ordered separately, but they put it in the same box with the uh, horse. All right, we put that aside. Now, I'll show you how to assemble this. It comes with this uh, pipe right here. Uh, let's see if I can show you. With a kind of a nut uh, type of a screw in the top. And it's hollow, of course. But on the bottom part is a, a thread, are the threads. And that goes right into the flange on the, uh, the board itself. And you just tighten that in by hand. And then uh, you drop that down. And make sure your your uh, slot runs the length of the uh, board because uh, that's how this horse armature will go. And then you see the hole in the bottom of the thorax of the horse. Well, the armature that you're going to put this on is right there, and it's 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 flattened on the uh, the wire itself, the cotton, the aluminum wire, so that it'll fit into that. Uh, slot in the uh, bolt. Then you just put the nut down on top of that and it's, that's there. It's not going to go anywhere. That's, that's a great armature. And then of course you can adjust the height of uh, the horse any way you want. Uh, one of the nice features on this is you can adjust the length of the uh, uh, femur bone and you can adjust the length down here by just moving the uh, the uh, cannon bone down a little bit, and that's but 
down here on the cannon bone of the uh, bottom part it's split so that you and the wire goes up there and it's uh, it can be put back up into the uh, length it came or you can adjust it for the type of horse that you're doing for the length. Now uh, another nice feature is back here you can adjust the uh, the hip bone. They got it marked where the hip bone should be but if you're doing like say a uh, oh okay this would probably be for an Arabian they got another mark back here for uh, like say maybe a quarter horse or a or a bigger horse. So you got uh, markings uh, but with magic marker on the uh, armature itself for the different uh, distances. I mean they even warranty this uh, armature. It's a limited warranty. Uh, that is really, that's really neat. And you might want to read that warranty before you do anything. Uh, it also comes with an explanation of uh, proportions and measurements and stuff like that. So anyway, uh, it gives head measurements and it says uh, the horse is uh, measured out to between 15 and 15 and a half uh, hands high, uh, 60 inches to 62 inches from the bottom of his hoof to the top of his withers. Uh, 24 to 25 inch head length and that's uh, on the horse's head, which by the way the horse's head also comes off so you can work on that separately if you want to. Um, well, I really looked at, there was a lot of thinking going into the making of this armature. It's just really, really, I'm impressed, totally. Uh, this uh, here is the uh, tail armature. And uh, so and now let's see how the figure wherever I put the figure. Oh, there it is. We'll look on the uh, back of the horse. Oh, perfect. See? Just perfect. But that's that's how this will look with the armature of the man and the, uh, the horse. Now, um, I'm not going to start on this until I get done with the Hawaiian and I need to work on my uh, mountain man piece that I started in Lake Tahoe. But this really gives you a nice idea of what this is all going to look like uh, once it's put together. Now let's see if I take this off and show you the horse. So that's the horse armature and uh, you can you can pretty well put it in any position you want just by uh, you know bending the uh, bones and the joints and stuff like that. What's neat is that is so cool. That is so cool. This is this is amazing and uh, uh, just well thought out. These guys have uh, took their time getting this out, but boy, they sure did a great job designing it. More interested in this right now uh, because this is really the first time I think uh, uh, you'll have seen something like this. It's just. This saves you so much time. I can't even tell you how much time this saves. I mean, it's even got the patella uh, up here in the uh, front part of the the femur bone. All these, and the bones are just perfectly, even the joints down here, the flange. And that's the hardest thing right here, this, this hip bone area. That is the hardest thing to try to visualize. And it's all sculpted out just all sculpted out for you. Tomorrow I will be going to the foundry to work on the shield of the Plains Warrior and uh, the reason I'm doing that is because uh, I want to finalize the shield's design in the back. I couldn't do that with the uh, support going directly into the shield. And by the way that was another uh, true form armature that uh, was inside that uh, Plains Warrior. So I'll pick up at the foundry with my camera and uh, Go from there. Just, just amazing. Just amazing.